How to replace the thermal paste in a laptop? Today, let's replace the thermal paste on the Lenovo Legion 5 2021 laptop, as our followers have requested. Get ready to revitalize your laptop by reducing your CPU's temperature by 16 degrees Celsius in just 6 easy steps. Step 1, get tools ready. Many tools are needed to replace the laptop's thermal paste. Apart from the thermal paste and thermal paste cleaning wipes, some gadgets can help you to disassemble the laptop much more easily. If you don't want to buy them separately, you can find our total solution combo in our profile. Step 2, remove the laptop case and battery. Before you start disassembling the computer, it's highly recommended to wash your hands or wear gloves or an anti-static wristband to eliminate static electricity. Place your laptop face down. Use a PH0 screwdriver to remove the six long screws on the top and the four short screws on the bottom. It is also recommended to use a magnetic storage pad to avoid confusion or loss of screws. To open the case, prepare a triangle pry tool and pry bar, stand up the laptop and aim at the corner of the body, insert the triangle pry tool into the gap of the case, and slide along the top and side to open the case. And use the pry bar to pry open the opening. Then do the same to the other corner, slide the pry tool along the body to open the gap, and use the pry bar to pry open the opening. Then come to the exhaust port on both sides, use a triangle pry tool. Insert diagonally into the gap between the air outlet and the case, and slide open. Avoid using brute force and damage the case. After opening the bottom cover, prepare two pry bars to remove the power supply. Slowly pull out the power supply with two pry bars. After removing the power supply, press the power button for 15 seconds to discharge. Step 3, remove the heatsink and old thermal paste. First remove the three screws of the right heatsink and the first screws on the left. Note that the screw in the upper right corner is not the same size as the others. After removing the heatsink, prepare a pry bar to remove the power cord of the right fan. Use a pry bar to push back and forth on both sides to remove the connector. Come to the left fan, use the pry bar in the same way to remove the connector. Then remove the two screws of the right fan and the two screws of the left fan. Come to the middle heat sink. Use a PH0 screwdriver to remove the six screws in a diagonal order to avoid uneven force when removing screws. Choose a high quality screwdriver like the Cooling Monster Combo 01. When screwing, keep the screwdriver perpendicular to the plane and apply pressure to avoid stripping the screws. Finally, slowly apply force to remove the heat sink. Use a PH000 screwdriver to remove the five small screws on the right fan and the five screws on the left fan, and you can completely open the fan. Prepare an anti-static brush to clean the dust on the surface and the fan blades. You can also use compressed air to clean the details. Remember to keep a short distance when using compressed air to avoid liquid spraying out. After cleaning the fan, don't forget to clean the heatsink and the back panel of the case. These places are very easy to get dusty.
Step 4. Clean the fan. To clean the old thermal paste more efficiently, we recommend using Cooling Monster Clean 01 Thermal Paste Cleaning Wipes. If you're worried about getting your hands dirty, you can use the disposable gloves included in our kit. Here you can see, the thermal paste on the processor has dried up after years of use, reducing its cooling efficiency. It needs timely replacement. We also use thermal paste cleaning wipes to wipe off the dried thermal paste on the motherboard. Step 5. Apply thermal paste. Here we used Cooling Monster Cold 01 High Performance Thermal Paste. Apply an appropriate amount of thermal paste on the surfaces of the CPU and GPU. After applying the thermal paste, you can use the spatula to evenly spread out the thermal paste and remove the excess. You can also use the P-Size method if you like. Step 6. Reassemble your laptop. Next, follow the same steps in reverse to install the fan and heat sink. After aligning the fans, use a PH000 screwdriver to install the heat sink. Then align the hole of the heatsink and press down to install the radiator. Use a PH0 screwdriver to install the heatsink in a diagonal order. It is recommended to screw the six screws to 70% tightness first, and then tighten them after all are in place to avoid excessive stress. Then screw back the first screws on both sides of the fan. Install the power cords on both sides of the fan. and install the three screws on the right heatsink and the four screws on the left. Note that the screw in the upper right corner is not the same size. Finally, install the power cord. You can turn on the laptop first to check whether the fans are working normally. Cover back the back cover and install the 10 screws and you're done. Follow and subscribe to Cooling Monster and let us know which laptops to demo this process with next.